Hello, my warriors for wellness. We're going to talk about the number eight today. To do more for the world than the world does for you. That is the definition of success. Well, that's according to Henry Ford. Uh, he might know something about success. I'm numerologist Trisha Gumberg, and I look at the universal energy of the day. That's when we add up all the digits of today's date down to a single digit. See that arrow right there? To a single digit to get the universal energy uh, to guide us. And for entrepreneurs, it helps you get your to-do list. Ta-da! Okay, it's also the way you figure out your life path number. So if you do that with your uh, birth date and an eight appears on either side of that compound digit, it would only be on the, on the right side of the compound digit, a 38, an 18, or a 28. But if you add those two digits, like 35 equals an eight, then please pay close attention. I'm also going to give you um, a little bit more about, you know, like job related things. So the number eight is about abundance and power. You know, think about the infinity sign. It's the eight is the infinity sign standing up. Thus the quote, the more you do for the world, the more the world does for you. Mm, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> power, yes, abundance and power. While I uh, pick from the abundance and power stack, the other attributes of the number eight, take your bobs, your bottom of your belly breaths. I'm seeing a one, but I don't, um, I'm not, I don't know why I just closed my eyes and I'm seeing the number one. Um, well, the element of the number one that is the eight is that leadership part because the eight is, is the boss of bosses. You know, the eight is creates, you know, jobs for other people and, um, yeah, is the boss of bosses. A lot of power in the number eight. Ah, finance. Finance. This is a tripping point for several people with the eight in, because that's what you're here to, to understand and to learn and grow. So if you're like, oh yeah, right, I'm broke. Well, <laughs> or I don't know how to run my finances in my business. Guess what? Then empower yourself and figure out your finances. I do my own taxes. <laughs> it's very empowering, very empowering. Oh, but that's only because I had a good teacher, uh, you know, back when, the person that used to do my taxes for free. See, abundance. She shared hers and it transferred to me that knowledge and, you know, let's see. All right, I'm gonna pick a clarifier. I'm feeling very a lot of gratitude. I think it's the number eight, the power of gratitude. Of, that's that quote. I woke up with that feeling. Take your bobs. Take your bottom of your belly breaths. Okay, self-esteem. Gotta have a lot of self-esteem, don't you? If you're going to be the leader of leaders, it takes a lot of self-esteem. Look at that beautiful card. Oh, look at, okay, our, you know, two hands, right? One is to give and one to, oh my goodness, this feels, I just had my Reiki master's attunement, right? Um, yeah, and it, that's um, part of the ceremony. <laughs> and then you have these people um, here, see that heart and the giving and receiving and that's a very vulnerable position um being open like that and having somebody come from behind right 
it's very very vulnerable let is let's see um yeah to put yourself out there like that just makes you very vulnerable right just to say that you're gonna succeed or you're gonna be the boss of bosses oh boy okay oh that's fun this it's the number 16 which is um two eights equals 16. i see 88 a lot it's in my phone. I take pictures of it. And I, yeah, 88. Oh, 16. Let's see what our... You can tune in too when I'm looking for cards and when I'm, you know, uh, tune in to see what the, you know, message is for you. Just pick, picture that number eight and um, just see what message it's bringing for you, for yourself. Or just listen and see what resonates with what I say. It's fine too. Integrity, self-expression, boundaries, convictions. Mm, being true to your convictions. Yeah, that's a lot to do with integrity. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to take a stand. <laughs> this, is, this is the energy that I woke up with this morning. It had started to trickle in and take a stand. What... Um, what do you believe in? And then it, you kind of get a clue as to, uh, this is that self-esteem thing. Uh, if if somebody is making you feel bad, or, you know, um, I guess only you can do that for yourself, but um, if uh, somebody has said to you, you know, I don't think that that's that right. Uh, and in your heart, in your heart, if you meditate on it and you think that it's it's helpful and um, that's that's what you need to do, then that hater haters got to hate 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 hate. Um, that's kind of gives you an indication, not a red light, but a green light, right? Because it brings it uh, to your attention. And I I was seriously thinking about this this morning because I was taking a stand. That's that number one. That's when I close my eyes and I see the number one that's taking a stand. Mm, this is so good. And I was thinking about that because I took a stand in a post that I put up this morning. And then I thought about that the backlash that I could receive from such a post or people wouldn't appreciate it. And then I recall as a 16 year old getting hate mail in high school. I actually got hate mail for, <laughs> for a decision that I was making that people didn't like. And so looking back, um, I'm, I, there's no way I could have made a better decision and I could have let those people, um, control me with their hate. And luckily, luckily I was intelligent enough to understand that at the time. It still hurt. Um, it still made me cry. Um, it still made me hate myself. Um, but I was solid. I had integrity in my decision. I'm getting a little choked up. I'm sorry for my 16 year old self. Okay. Oh, 16. <laughs> we just repeated the 16. Okay. So now I'm really going to cry. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's refocus for you. This is not about me. Okay. If you have an eight anywhere in your life path, I just told you, you know, CEO, you're the boss of bosses. And uh, where I've seen um, other eights uh, trip maybe in their life or struggle. So I mentioned that finance piece that you empower yourself and you learn um, more about your own finances. And then that other thing, uh, like um, the, you have to trust, uh, be altruistic with uh, and generous where you can be right now. Like I told you, I had a um, a person who owned their own tax business take the time to teach me how to do taxes. She was like, you know, pretty much teaching me out of a, you know, you know, ever paying her for doing my taxes because she was empowering me. That's the number eight to do my own taxes. Okay. Um, so, you know, she might be like, okay, it's going to shoot my, you know, shoot myself in my foot in my own foot. 
No, it's generous and it was beautiful. So what uh, Gary V teaches this, right? He teaches us to um, give content, give value and just constantly, you know, what do I have for value? This goes right back to my opening quote. Okay. Um, so you might be afraid. You might think, oh, I can't give this away. Yes, you can. Because you have more, remember? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can. You can. And you trust, trust that you can. Okay, you know, for your job, because that will lead you down the path of what work it is that you need to do. You need to explore that. That's all I can say, you know, explore that and understand that, um, that you are a CEO. <laughs> you are the boss of bosses. Okay. Thank you for listening. And until next time, know that I love you.